Hi y'all, I just wanted to give a quick video real quick of what I am feeding. It's time, feeding time. I just did a quick harvest for the wheat. Um, some real nice vegetables, some blonde, blonde vegetables, um, blonde peppers. I got banana peppers, um, green peppers, kale, um, sweet potato leaves I grabbed, and also some romaine lettuce. I'm ready to make me a quick salad for the day. Um, and I just wanted to show y'all how, 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 how healthy it is. Look. The reason I show y'all my hands because my tip of my nails is pure white. Like real, real white. And I mean, that's from eating a good diet every, every pretty much every week. Um, of all vegetables with no chemicals. Now this right here is, I'm showing y'all, is a casting. Um, premium worm casting. This is about $35. I think I paid $30 or $40 on Amazon. This is what is supposed to make the vegetables grow and produce a lot of fruit. Alright, so I got this from um, a guy online that, that that has a really, really big garden. Go around showing different gardens. But he promoted this one, so I grabbed it. I want to see the difference. I'm still pro I'm producing, but some of my plants are producing one or two um one or two peppers, say for instance, um, the blonde peppers, one or two at a time. And the way he, when he showed that he used this one, this one produces six or seven different uh, peppers on one plant. So I'm, it's time feeding time, which I feed them every three weeks. And right now I'm giving them this premium one that's really expensive. So I hope it um, it turns out really good. So just to give y'all a quick, quick um, uh, video of uh, me feeding, feeding them. Some new vegetables, but my um, my cabbage, just this one's about ready. I'll get a little bit, bit bigger, and this one's about ready, also. Yep, so just to give y'all a quick update, um, I got some really, really nice, nice, uh, look at that, look at the peppers up there. They have like four to six inches on the green peppers. That ain't ready, but I'm not gonna pull them today because I just grabbed some. So I'll, I'll probably pull up next week the big ones, bring it down. Um, yep, it's easy, man. This is the time to grab y'all romaine lettuce. Um, to put to put romaine lettuce. Uh, this is a week. This is two weeks. Two weeks old. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven um, plants came out of my seed when I planted these seedlings two weeks ago. And they're all getting grown already, so another weekend they'll be ready to go into a bigger container where they will stay for the for the for the um for the season. Alright, and I got um some bro more broccoli going down, more something called mustard, some mustard um leaves. I never had them, but I'm gonna try them. And um what else? The peppers are doing good. So this is the time to put y'all cool, cool plants in the ground because um it's it's week between August. September, October, um, they'll start to grow more. Um, these are my my um, snap peas I planted in the beginning of the spring. And they produced a lot, but I planted them at the wrong time. So you see they dying because it's too hot for them. So now I planted new ones that'll last throughout the fall that'll produce really wonderful. Um, and I'll replace these with the new um, um, snap peas that's, that's going out. Yep, so this, look at that watermelon's coming through. Got my woolen melon on top of storage. Um, I got up there, I got some more. Um, what, do I, what do I got? Water melon up there and cauliflower. I have another watermelon plant growing right here. And I'm going to put him on top of the storage so he doesn't want to get bigger. One in the middle up there growing. I have 10 uh, more blonde, blonde peppers. They don't get so big, they get another two, three weeks and these will be ready to pull. Yeah. Um, I finally put something in the dirt right here, which I believe these are they either squashes or um, or um, cucumbers. I forget which ones it was. Um, this was this was a potato. I think this is a tomato that I put in here. I mean, um, potato that got in there by mistake. So um, when this is ready, I replace these with some more cabbage. These are my purple cabbage. Some of them getting eight, some of them is, is available. I mean, it's good, but some of them getting eight by the buds. This one's getting eight by the buds. So you don't escape the buds completely. But I'm gonna hit them with some um, 
some neem oil today mixed with water and a little bit of dishwash dish detergent I'm gonna hit them with um, some neem oil um, and then over here the corn is growing like crazy I gotta trim them down a little bit clear them out this is um, more zucchini zucchini coming out um, they're not ready yet but it's growing these are sweet potatoes now I've been eating the leaves off of these the sweet potato leaves are really good for you so I, I'll be picking a couple off of each one um, but they are growing like crazy look at that when I put sticks in there and I kind of zip tied not too tight but to the sticks and let them grow up this one grow up and across look and then the one from over there is growing so I just separate that they was trying to lock up my corn so I put them on a fence so they can grow over there but late on the fall these buckets will be full of potatoes so just to show y'all how easy it is every week I'm pulling um, nice fresh salad for people for, for, to eat and then over here I just want to show y'all the, the sweet the, the new sweet potatoes that I planted two weeks ago which is now um, coming out I just planted these two weeks ago look at that two weeks ago there's another one will come out on the other side if you do come through this one's going like crazy that's sweet potato so I'm gonna fill this bucket up some more now um, that they're coming out I can fill this bucket up probably another four four inches and then I'll fill it up and then uh, I'm gonna put some more in this one too the other one didn't come through so I don't know maybe that was not gonna grow but whatever um, I'm just giving you all a little quick update and um, I just grabbed some broccoli today so I'm gonna put them plant those and then um, this is my tomatoes, my cherry tomato and, and um, yellow boy, yellow boy, yellow boy tomato. I got my first yellow boy last week. The corn is coming through. The corn is getting big. Look at that. That's corn. They, they probably be ready later on August or September. Um, in the bottom of here, I think I got zucchini. I put zucchini in there and I also put a, a, um, a banana pepper. Now I picked all the banana pepper. There were a couple of them. Banana peppers. One in there. What happens is um the when you mix certain certain um, plants together, it'll make the other plants grow quicker. Now these grew, the corn grew much bigger, look as you see, than the other corn. They was planted at the same time, and that's because I'm mixing it with two other vegetables in one container. So this has three different vegetables in it. It has um, banana peppers, it has um, zucchini, I believe that is what that is, and, and with in the corn. But it's making the corn grow quicker. So that was something I just learned. Um, this is my peppermint. Another, another yellow boy. Um, these are, what are these? Um, these are um, romaine lettuce and red bowl lettuce. So they slowed up a little bit because of the, because of the heat. They don't like the heat. But um, if they hold on throughout the season, they'll, they'll start producing when the weather cools down a little bit more. These are chili peppers, y'all. Chili peppers. I thought they were um, um, the jalapenos, but they are actually chili peppers. You cook with those. Um, then I got snack pepper, snap peppers, back there. So they, I've been pulling them. Set them off. This is more romaine lettuce. Uh, I just picked them as go and let them keep growing. These are my beets. The beets probably be ready later on in the fall. I got plenty of beets. I like beets. They're good for you. And then over here, uh, just a quick update. I got more blonde peppers. Um, blonde peppers, they don't get so big, but they, they can get a little bit bigger than that. This one's struggling, so I'm gonna give, give them some some food. Carrots, I'm gonna add more, more dirt to them so they can get bigger. Um, more watermelon, sitting in the watermelon pot, and then one went through the fence and growing on the other side, and there's another watermelon growing right there. So this one is corn mixed with carrots again. Um, more corn going haywire. I gotta, tame them a little bit and then this is my pepper now it's a it's a bully Walson here he think he trying to bully my damn my damn plant and I you know he in there trying to get the flowers which is good so I'm gonna let him go because I don't need them peppers right now but and then um some of their big peppers big peppers coming through yeah so um one of the tricks that I use was spraying with some aspen water and it makes them um produce a lot last week so this one really started producing I took um, a pepper off off of this one last week and another one grew right back so that's how quick they are this is a little baby one growing in so let's give y'all a quick update yep there, there go Mr. Walsh look at him he think he can bully and I go nigga he get on guard look y'all can y'all see him look 
Yeah, big old walls. They ain't gonna have me knotted up though. All I let them do is thing. They 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 pollinate the, some of the fly, um, some of the plants, which is good. So I let them do his thing. But he stays over here. Look, let me get closer. See, like, see, he get on guard. As soon as I get closer, he get on guard. But anyway, that's a quick video, y'all. Just to give y'all a quick update. Uh, I think I got some. I think I got some. What I put in here? Oh, some more peppers. I think I got some peppers down right here. Some more seeds. I'm going to plant today. Later on this evening, I'm going to plant um, something called mustard. I'm going to plant those. These are more kale for the fall. I'm planting those. I, want, I, I love the kale. Really nutritious. And then more broccoli. So all of those I'm going to plant um, probably later on today. Put them in the ground because it's that time. Yeah, so just give y'all a quick update. All right, y'all. Take it easy.